My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here again on the Lame Craft server, flying away from our beautiful island and heading to spawn. But we aren't gonna stay for too long because we do have a very, very big project at home to work on. But first, we need to check our shops, make sure uh, we're bringing in the cash because uh, we're, we're gonna be spending some <laughs> right about now. Bearded provisions still bringing in the diamonds. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, we just pulled in 28 diamonds, and that's just a span of just a few days, which is good. Good to see uh, active builds going out. Uh, but we're going to be spending some, so we need spruce. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we need any of that, but definitely spruce. So it is three stacks for one diamond. So let's do this. We're going to take... We're going to take all of this, and do we need more? I, I almost feel like we need more. Let's bring those down. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just take all. Let's just take all of it. One there and one there. Okay, cool. So spruce is out of stock now. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is nice. Uh, Connor Smithy. Look at this. Look at all these little details. Love it. Uh, what's he selling? Set of iron tools, two diamonds. Now that's confusing. Is that suggesting this whole thing is two diamonds? Because that is not that is not a bad of a deal. Full set, five diamonds of iron armor. That is quality. I uh, I might be coming back here. And I think there was there was a stairway going up. What 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 is up here? Doors left open, so I think that means that we can enter. Oh, it's not like a nice little uh, nice little house. Not gonna go through chests. Got a table. Got like a little living room. Wow, this is really pleasant. What's what's over here? A nice little bedroom. So uh, yeah, it, it's it's almost as if uh, what we've got here. Is we've got like a little uh, a smithy, uh, his his little workshop in the bottom. This is all this is all great. Probably uh, probably some little decorative uh, stuff that needs to happen. Oh, okay, you can come over here. Interesting. So um, yeah, this is great, Connor. You did a, you did a fantastic job. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. All right, but we need to head home. And back home. We are going to get started on a project that we've been looking forward to doing for a long time, and that is cleaning it up uh, and building building our village. So I think generally what we want to do first uh, is we want to make sure that everything is on a similar level. So we're going to do a bit of terraforming, making sure that uh, making sure that like this building is on a similar level to the next building um, and that way we can really get a good idea of how this uh, how this island looks what what, what kind of uh, what kind of buildings that we can have on it um, and the goal being with these buildings is each one will house different types of villagers uh, that way we've got uh, sources for diamond gear diamond armor and weapons uh, through the smiths and the armors but also uh, you know having like a little cartography area so that we can we can get uh, an easy source of maps uh, a shepherd I've already started kind of laying out um, some chunks just to get an idea look how many cats we've got man we've we've got a we got to figure out how to use these cats for our our benefit otherwise they, they just run around anyways uh, and distract they're distracting cats um, but yeah I'd like to have like a little shepherd building maybe with one of those um, automatic wool farms going that would be pretty cool but yeah terraforming this up a bit so it's easier to walk uh, from one location to another and uh, yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and get start building so um, yeah let's go ahead and get into super fast build mode and uh, start terraforming
You know, it's amazing what a little terraforming can do, uh, especially on, on a project like this. You know, being able to see the island on one flat surface so that you can really, you know, get an idea of, of, of a path going from one edge of the village to the next, um, what that would look like, where, where some of these, uh, where some of these buildings can go. Um, I think, I think doing this was spot on exactly what we needed to do. I'm really glad we went ahead with this. Uh, took, took a bit of time, of course, but now we've got tons of resources. We've got so much stone and cobblestone and granite. Um, so yeah, I think our next step is to kind of determine general layout, right? Uh, so we've got to we've got to start putting down some some ideas of where where buildings would go and what what their general purpose would be. So uh, I, I'm just looking at this layout right here. I'm thinking this is going to be the general size of our building. So rather small. Um, you know, this is going to be uh, storefront. So we'll have, uh, you know, coming from the, uh, I don't know, like the main part of our city, uh, where our base is having maybe like another stairway going down, leading to some kind of road that goes, uh, from down here all the way, all the way to the end. And then alongside that, uh, on either side would be, uh, buildings about this size, uh, shop fronts. Shop fronts are, are pretty much what we're going to be doing on the first floor. And second floor is probably uh, going to be living quarters for our, uh, for our different villagers. So I think we've got about eight or nine different types of buildings that we need to create. So, you know, armor smith, weaponsmith, uh, tool smith. Um, we've also got the, the mason, um, a fisherman, a farmer, a shepherd, um, I'm trying to think what else, uh, what else, what else would we need? Uh, maybe a cleric, maybe we do bring in some clerics and have, um, have some kind of, uh, spot here for, uh, for a small church. Um, so yeah, we're looking at about eight, eight buildings or so, I think. And um, a cartographer, I don't know if I named that yet, but uh, having maps would be good. So, yeah, thinking we're going to go two stories. Uh, first story kind of is going to depend on uh, the point of the building. But, like, for this instance, you know, I'm thinking weaponsmith or toolsmith. They'll probably have some kind of forge. Uh, so, like, in here we'll have a, uh, have, have a campfire, um, a, um, a chimney that, that extends out. Um, so, so that so that the smoke can rise, uh, I think I think would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and then we would have to figure out <laughs> uh, a stairway, so it doesn't have to go super high. You know, we're looking at, uh, you know, it's probably gonna go only go like maybe maybe too high, maybe three high on the bottom floor. It just it just all kind of depends. So that's what we're gonna be playing with. But I think that's what's gonna end us on this episode. Next episode we'll get started on actually putting a lot of this stuff together so getting uh getting some thoughts out there as far as how this is going to be laid out um and where are all these different buildings are going to go and then start actually building uh, the structures so getting a style down and then duplicating that style from one building to the next trying to make it uh unique from one building to the next as well but obviously uh working towards fitting some kind of theme uh but yeah i'm really looking forward to this project this is this has been on my list since pretty much the beginning uh, of what i wanted to do and i'm so glad that we finally have all of the materials that we need to really start producing this so uh, my name is mighty beard we will see you again next time here on the lamecraft server later